Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja and in this segment today we are going to discuss about submarines. Submarines, what is it? What is the focus of India with respect to its project 75 that pertains to submarines? What is the necessity for India to have a submarine? All that will be discussed. So, let us first of all have a look at the topics that we are going to discuss. These are the many topics that we are going to go through and slide by step by step. So, this has much more to do with your prelims. So, submarines, the history of it, Project 75 and Kilo class and Sindhu Dwaj submarines. Apart from these submarines, this submarine Kilo class, other submarines will also be looked at. And if we talk about the news, the state of India's submarine fleet after the decommissioning of the INS Sindhu Dwaj, because it was in the service of India since the last 35 years. Now, it has been decommissioned. What respect with respect to submarines what remains of the submarine fleet in India we will talk about that but first of all let us have a look of about what is submarine actually it is a watercraft capable of independent operation under the water all right and it started gaining traction or attention in the 19th century but the major usage of the submarines was started only after the world war one and what uh, the what was the purpose of it to have an eye for enemy surface ships and for aircraft carrier protection, blockade running, nuclear deterrence, reconnaissance, that means collection of intelligence and data. Also, conventional land attack, for example, how to use a cruise marine through uh, submarines, that was also, uh, you know, one of the reasons for the development of submarines and convert insertion of special forces. If special forces had to move from one, to one place to another without getting detected, submarines was a go-to. Uh, you can say object. So, if we talk about Sindhu Dwaj, Sindhu Dwaj was in the service of Indian Navy for 35 years and it was acquired from the Soviet Union in 1987 when uh, along with that we also had 10 kilo class diesel electric submarine. So, it is propelled by diesel and electricity, the fuel you have to remember. So, kilo class submarines are very special in nature and we will discuss about that as well. The majority life of the Kilo class submarine is just 30 years, but because of retrofitting, we can increase the life up to 10 years. So, you can say 30 to 40 years is the range. Okay. So, three Indian Navy Kilo class submarine got retrofitting and of course, recently they got retrofitting in Russia and their lives were enhanced. Also, if we talk about the reasons, uh, what are the reasons we can say with respect to repair of any submarine that depends on two things the strength of the hull and the state of repair if these two priorities are checked we can give our submarine for retrofit fitting so if we talk about the speciality of kilo class submarine the biggest speciality is its silent quality it is able to remain silent and that is why it is very good for intelligence connection and of course patrolling so it's a non-nuclear diesel electric propulsion system and Russia depends a lot on Kilo class submarine. The engine plant is placed away from the hull and because of a rubber like coating that is done on the engine, it makes the sound to be reduced. Okay, And it is, a, it is an attack submarine. It majorly attacks submarines and destroys surface ship. It also has land attack capability and as I told you, because it is silent in nature, it can patrol the coast of any country very silently and collect data and reconnaissance. That is why Kilo class submarine is very important for India. Now, if we talk about the history of India with respect to submarine, it goes back to December 1967 when INS Calvary of the Foxtrot class was acquired from the USSR, erstwhile USSR. And during the 1971 India-Pakistan war, these submarines were used. Now, come 19, in, in 1981, before that, for a decade, India did not get any new submarine. But in 1981, type 209 submarines were taken from West Germany and this was the Shishumar class. Okay, And then India got 8 submarines from the USSR, 2 from Germany after that in 1986, between 1986 to 1992. And in 1992 and 1994, two German submarines which had been built in India were also commissioned. So, India started expanding its basket of getting submarines and India bought two kilo class submarines from Russia in 1999 and 2000. With respect to that only, if we have to look through what are the submarines that are available in India, the Arihant is a class of Indian nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine. 
ओके सो इट इज न्यूक्लियर पावर रिमेम्बर दैट आई एन एस अरिहंत बेलिस्टिक मिसाइल सबमरीन and it is classified as a strategic strike nuclear submarine now if a prelims question can be based on it which class of submarine is defined as the strategic strike nuclear submarine it will be the arihant class okay and july 26 2009 ins arihant which is ssbn 80 okay s2 strategic strike nuclear submarine this has been designated as it is the lead ship of india's arihant class submarine so remember this as well this point is a prelims point you can take a screenshot let's move on now if we talk about the next class it's the culvery class it is the first of the six scorpion class submarine okay and it uh, first of the six scorpion class submarine as in it was the first to be ever built under project 75 in 2017 moving on the next is the sindhu ghosh class now kilo class diesel electric submarine these are and it is designated as 877 EKM. Remember that this could be a prelim fact for you. Moving on, if we talk about the other one, that is the Shishumar class, and this is also a diesel electric submarine. It has been acquired from German Yard. Okay, so remember the name as well. Although the name won't be asked, it's so difficult for us Indians to pronounce. Now, the current status is that we have sixteen submarines in service. One is nuclear power, and uh, that is ballistic missile, of course. And there are seven kilo class submarine. Apart from the seven kilo class. We also have four Shishumar class submarine, okay, of German origin, and it is named INS Shishumar, Shankush, Shalki, and Shankul, okay. Four Scorpion or Culvery class submarine of French origin, which is named INS Culvery, Khanderi, Karanj, and Vela. So remember all this. This is very important. That's why we have discovered that this needs to be put here. Two more Scorpion class submarines. They are expected to be commissioned into service by the year 2020. Three. Now comes the next part, that is the Project 75. Now Project 75 was launched in order to build six conventional submarines, and these are to be domestically built for the Indian Navy. But it was earlier decided that France would be included in it. Now in May 2022 itself, French company Naval Group announced that it is pulling out of this project. Why? Because there was a problem with respect to air independent propulsion system. So this was the issue that made France to pull out. Okay. and the project 75 wants to build submarines which are having advanced capabilities like air independent propulsion that means it can stay under the water for a longer period of time uh, without getting any propulsion from the air that means if a submarine has to get propulsion from air it has to come over the surface right so it does not want to do that so that is why there was some issue with the french company intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance then we have special operation forces anti ship warfare anti submarine warfare anti surface warfare land attack capabilities okay so project 75 wants to build built uh, submarines under make in india and for that two indian shipyards were finalized in the year 2020 by the name of larsen and tubro and mazigon dock limited now many analysts are saying that because of the issues that have arisen with certain um, with the french naval group it can project 75 can move on and we won't have our group of submarines till the year 2032 long time now what is the necessity because we have we are having a war a kind of a war with war as in there is a high chance of aggression coming from the other side like china and pakistan so for that we have to develop our submarines because china operates six nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine of which six nuclear powered there are attack submarines 46 are diesel powered attack submarine then people people's liberation army navy that is planned it has the operational strength of 60 to 70 submarines through this decade it will be able to achieve that then comes pakistan it has three agosta 90b air independent propulsion submarine two diesel electric agosta 70 class submarine these are all of french origin and three midget class submarine of italian origin so when our, these countries are raising their standards of the submarine fleet why shouldn't india let's look at our question analyze the importance of submarine for india what are the issues in project 75 pertaining to it in 250 words do a do a little bit of homework for the second part okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again thank you so much for watching